Hello there, my beautiful collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, collective? You can ring my bell, ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring, oh, collective. What's going on? Folks, I want to do a different uh, sort of series of readings here. This is on the Major Arcana. There's 21 of them, right? Now, this isn't an interpretation of what the cards mean. This is just, if you identify with the card, the numerology on it, or maybe this is your favorite card in the deck, or this is a card that keeps coming up. I just want to do readings based on the Major Arcana. And if the card uh, attracts you, you find some sort of connection to it. Like I said, maybe it's your favorite card in the deck. I'm going to pull some cards on it. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful collective. What message do we have for those who are drawn to the full card? Please and thank you, Spirit. Please and thank you, Spirit. The Fool card. That's a beautiful card, right? It does speak on taking that chance, getting out there, right? It's about loving life, being in a good mindset. But it also cautions about, you know, watching where the hell you're going, what you're doing. Of course, got a little fluffy right there, too, right? So if he ain't paying attention, then little Fluffy's going to go off the cliff too. Uh, this is having faith and trust. The fool's journey, right? Some of you uh, taking that risk, but just being very mindful. This is opening up new opportunities too. Sometimes you have to cross over uh, areas, opportunities, lands, different sort of uh, places you haven't navigated before, right? Uh, everything is different, so you always got to be cautious. It's good to take that journey, but you know, also be mindful of the, the, you know, the potholes in the road, the trip hazards. Those of you, if you're out hiking, right, you don't want to step on a snake. Um, it's a beautiful energy there, right? But it is also kind of cautionary. What crowns this? The Five of Wands. Some of you, you know... <laughs> Maybe people thought you were a fool for doing what the hell you were doing, right? Uh, it is kind of like the fool's journey. You're daring to get out there and try something new, do something different. Maybe it's the way you dress, the way you present yourself, the, you know, the accessories that you wear, the fact that you are different. You're not afraid to get out there and travel and try something new to cross over into uh, uncommon uh, territory, right? But you're not really taking this fool's journey uh not having the knowledge this is you're understanding the pitfalls you're understanding that there are going to be things that show up that you might not be able to handle or deal with or you're going to have to kind of learn on the fly right you don't just start this journey uh half half assed you you do have to have some sort of preparation there you see we got the little hobo sack so it isn't necessarily the fool's journey and the fact that you're unaware you just know that there are uh, things that's going to show up, uh, pitfalls, uh, negative, and opportunities, positive, that you're going to have to be aware of. What's behind this fool? The Ace of Swords. So you, you got the knowledge, right? You decided you were going to do something. This is taking that risk. Work, love, life, whatever the hell it is. Deciding to go out there and try something new. And it doesn't have to be as dramatic as walking a cliff, right? This is just getting out there and trying something new. Trying a different restaurant. Trying a different hairstyle. Trying different clothes. A different job. A different location. Because where can it lead you? To that beautiful Ten of Cups rainbow. To something that you never imagined before. And we can notice from the topography on this card, right? It can be a long journey till you actually hit uh, the area that you need to, right? He's up there in sort of like Rocky Mountain Cliffs, right? This is kind of a, a nice little simple flat plateau. Farmland. 
going from this dry desert into this beautiful, abundant farmland. It's the fool's journey. But yeah, not everyone <laughs> is going to think that it's such a great journey to take, right? Because not everyone is willing to go out there and try that, to be a little different. To be made fun of, right? What the fuck are you doing? Where do you think you're going, right? But this is being educated. And also knowing there's some things that you're not going to be prepared for. You're going to be learning on the fly. And don't forget little Fluffy down there, right? Uh, the one that leads, there are going to be people that follow. So be, be mindful of that, right? So between the five of wands here and this ace of swords, yeah. Some of y'all had to just kind of do this on your own. You had to uh, do the preparations on your own. You knew it would be a solitary journey. But a lot of you did it because you were going somewhere better. You wanted something better. Because the status quo just really didn't fit what the hell you wanted. This five of wands energy. You're not afraid to go out there and, and create your own fucking path, right? Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. You, this is, you're educated. You understand uh, what you can. You're knowledgeable of the fact that there's going to be things that show up that you're not going to be prepared for. But it's worth it to get that Ten of Cups because you don't know. If we didn't have explorers out there, right? Look how many uh, areas of the world we wouldn't even know about. But this is also that preparation, right? The Six of Swords to the Seven of Swords with that Ace of Swords energy. It's not always the fool's journey, though others might think that it is. There's a lot of planning going into that, right? There was a lot of logistics. There was a lot of uh, just basically blind faith going into it, not really knowing what the outcome is. So a lot of you, if you're thinking about taking that chance, right? You can take that, that opportunity with the knowledge that you have, but also being very well aware that there's going to be things that show up that uh, you're not going to know about. You're not going to be able to navigate as easy. There may be a few hiccups in the road. You might hit a few potholes. There's going to be things that show up, but it's, it's a learning experience. Seven of Swords there to the Ten of Cups. Page of Pentacles. The people you meet along the way. The opportunities that arise along the way, Right? This is all new because it is like the fool's journey. You're, you're going somewhere that you've never been before. You're taking a chance that you've never taken before. So there are going to be different people, opportunities, places you're going to meet along the way. Maybe some of y'all take a little souvenir. You keep your little pebble or a little uh, vial of sand if you like to travel the beaches, right? The souvenirs, the souvenirs you pick up along your way, the knowledge that you gain. For a lot of you, that's going to help you out. Between the Ten of Cups and the uh, Five of Wands is that Eight of Pentacles. A lot of you, when it comes to your work, changing things up for your work, doing things that might be a little different, uh, getting outside of your comfort zone. This is don't be afraid to try something a little different. Don't be afraid if there's something you've been wanting to do or work on, get out there and fucking do it, right? And what's covering all that is that Knight of Cups. See, I'm drawn to the topography here. And you see a river runs through it right there. Some of you could very well find love along the way. You're in different uh, territory, right? So you're going to be looking for that water, that sort of nourishment while you're out there. And you're going to have uh, opportunities. And there's going to be some you're going to take and some you're not. There's some things you can trust and some things you can't. Right? Would you trust this showing up or this? This is like that obstacle energy. Right? The fool's journey. There's not to say it's all going to be, you know, uh, peachy king and fine. There's going to be obstacles along the way and you're going to have to be able to navigate it. There's going to be, you know, different waves of emotions, different things that show up. But there's always going to be that sort of respite energy. Because there's, there's always going to be someone there. You're always going to get the nourishment that you need. Some of you all the encouragement that you need. And these are just different people you're going to meet along that journey. Some are going to be helpful. Some aren't. Think of that. This is like the troll under the bridge type energy, right? When you start that fool's journey. You never know. 
the Tower, the Four of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. This is surviving the, uh, the pitfalls, surviving the things that you're unaware of. This is that the, the things that show up that you're not aware of, the surprises along the road. Some are good, some are bad, some can be a little rough, right? Uh, but eventually you'll find that safe haven. You'll find that opportunity that you've been looking for, that four of wands, that 1111. A lot of you, this could be a, uh, definitely a um, spiritual journey for you, right? You have no idea where it's going to end, but you usually end up in a nice place. Because you remove yourself from the towers and you keep moving on, right? Ace of Wands. Some of y'all going to write about your journey, write about your experience. This is that sort of uh, survival energy, right? And this is that sort of healing. This is, uh, you know, the obstacles that you met along the way. And this is the good, kind, loving energies you met along the way. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. The things you meet on that fool's journey. The partnerships, the opportunities to work with other people, to meet other people, right? To meet other people. Some of you might not even be geographically where you need to be to find the one that you're meant to be with. Have you ever thought about that? There's opportunities that show up that can change everything for you and you don't realize it. But you got to be able and willing to get out of your comfort zone. King of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Temperance. When you find that security, when you find your place in the Sun to go, be happy and healed and abundant. Look at that. Some of y'all, the kid opportunities. The, uh, the people you'll meet. The partnerships, the relationships that form that uh, uh, Four of Wands foundation you created this is also raising children that aren't afraid of that fool's journey that aren't afraid to be out there and take the risks because you taught them well enough there's dangers along the way there's some people you can trust there's some things that you can't you got to be smart and figure out how to navigate that towers are going to come okay the towers are going to come but it's how you navigate around them towers, the hardships, the things that, you know, show up that you're unprepared for, that help you create that four wands, that steady foundation, because you know through knowledge. And you know there's always going to be hiccups in the road. There's always going to be obstacles. Some of them, you're just not even going to realize that was a fucking obstacle until you started that journey, right? Some of you definitely, when it comes to emotions, if you want you know, your love, building that fucking four of wands, that 1111 type of energy foundation, relationships, partnerships. I love that. The fool's journey. But it's only a fool's journey if you're not aware and you don't understand that there are going to be things that show up that you're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to MacGyver some things. You're going to have to be quick on your feet. You're going to have to figure out how to problem solve. There are people you can trust and people that you can't. There's uh, partnerships you'll form uh, along the way that could be long lasting. This doesn't have to be a love partnership. This could just be a very close friendship. But eventually, on that fool's journey, you'll find yourself where you're meant to be. King of Pentacles, the Sun, the Temperance card. Where you decide to set down your roots. Some of you, where you decide to raise your family, right? That fool card has that puppy dog down there. You got Fluffy down there following you, right? Whenever you take that fool's journey, some of you have others that are coming along with you. For the ride, right? They don't really have much of a choice. But that doesn't mean that you can't create that beautiful happily ever after for them as well. Sometimes you have to take that fool's journey to create that, right? Knowing there's hardships along the way. 
the things that you didn't account for, the things you didn't realize was something you had to keep in mind or think about. And this doesn't have to be about movement anywhere. You could do this in the safety and security of your own place. This is just taking that opportunity to try something new, to get out there and, and uh, take that sort of fool's journey, to try something different, maybe upgrade your work, pick up a few uh, extra skills that could help you out in the end. Yes, there's hardships, right? We all know there's hardships in life. That's what you learn from. Your ability to MacGyver situations like this and keep moving forward. That's what makes that uh, four of wands so, so damn stable is because you've learned. Some of y'all, your spiritual connections, right? That fool's journey, man. If you get the opportunity, it is definitely worth taking. You just got to be mindful that there's things that's going to show up, right? It's not all going to be uh, sunshine and roses and lollipops. There's going to be situations that are going to be a little rough and tough, and you're going to have to navigate them on the fly, right? They're just going to show up. But that fool's journey is so well worth taking. Especially if you want to go be happy, right? Some people you can trust, some people you can't. Some people want to help you grow, some people want to stop your growth. This is where you want to go. This is deciding you're going to change things up. This is being mindful. You don't start that journey not really knowing. You got your basic, you know... Uh, life skills in place. The things you'll find, the people you'll meet, the opportunities. Maybe you've had a string of odd jobs till you figured out what the hell you actually wanted to settle down and do. But not everybody takes that fool's journey and there's going to be a lot of people that think you're fucking crazy for taking it. With that five of wands. Because, you know, you're not afraid to get out there and, and try something a little different. Definitely a little scary. But you're doing it from a positive mindset. Some of y'all just might get that white rainbow. Ten of cups happiness. But you see, it could be a long ass journey too. Hmm. This is being well prepared, right? You got your survival knife, you got you some wood to burn, and you got you plenty of hydration along the way. Okay? You didn't have pentacles, which, you know, a lot of times this fool's journey, uh, you might not have the finances that you need. So, you know, you could be doing it you know, kind of broke. That's why you're going to be MacGyvering things. That's why you're traveling light. You're going to be using your resources along the way. Because, yeah, a little fluffy there could actually be your children. Finding that happy place in the sun to set down roots. The fool's journey. You can ring my bell, ring my bell. Some of y'all, don't be afraid to switch it up a little bit at work. Try something new, right? What do you want to focus on? What do you want to master? Sometimes that journey to the right uh, job is that fool's journey, right? You have a lot of odd jobs till you figure out what the fuck it is you actually do want to do. How many people get a college degree and then when they get out there in the field, they end up switching because it wasn't exactly what they thought it was going to do. So sometimes that fool's journey is just with your occupation, what you do for work. Peace, love, and light.